I thought this was supposed to be about stocks. Where? What's up, people? Check me out with this shit-eating grin on my face. You know why? We're living in the best times there is. Every generation's had the end of the world right around the corner, right? The Great Depression, World War One, World War Two. You know, how about having to hide under your desks for nuclear fallout? The Russians were taken over. Cuba is about to launch a nuclear attack. Come on, Vietnam. Now we've got terrorism. And all we're concerned about is the fiscal cliff. The funny thing is, it seems like this media almost doesn't want to start pushing the debt ceiling right now. It's trying, but I think we're growing tired of this. Enough. We know what's going to happen. They're just going to keep kicking the can down the road. And that's what it is. Oh, but our kids. They'll just keep on kicking the can down the road. Oh, what about their kids and their kids? I'm dead. I don't care. You know what? So many things. Who knows if we're going to be even using paper currency at the time. Maybe something else will happen. Who knows? You'd never know what's going to happen. I don't want to be this scary guy, but maybe another world war comes. You just don't know. Korea, China. Think about if another awful attack happens. Imagine on our soil. You know we're not going to stand for that. But again, I've gone way to the other side now. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back to what's been fun. Ignoring everything. You think that this market's boring? I'll give you research in motion. You think this market's going nowhere? I'll give you HLF. You think there's nothing happening in this market? I'll give you a Cena going up 15 points. Oh, you think we're boring? There's nothing happening during the day? How about SHLD ripping six points? There's always something happening, guys. You just have to stick with the trends and just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, as long as it's working out for you. You want to know how I trade? It's very simple. I'm not the guy that's doing homework. I actually poo-poo the homework guy. I sure as hell don't give a crap about what these companies do. The only reason you care about what these companies do is because if one stock is doing something extraordinary, you go look at its little brothers and sisters to see what they're doing. Here's the extent of our homework. Pencil and paper. I don't even use pen. Pencil, paper. Scrap paper. Recycling, of course. This is old confirmations of trades that I've done in 1994. That's right, I'm a hoarder. I write down stocks that are trending and I wait for them to break previous day's high. Genius, right? 1999 all over again. If you have a stock that's trending, one of the easiest trades to do is waiting for that stock to break a previous day's high. Or even better, if you see it hits a new high, consolidates for a couple of days and then breaks that three day, year, three day old high, you got a decent entry right there. It's as simple as that. And we're not looking for hero trades. Breaks the high of the day, goes up 15, 20 cents. If you got your 500 shares or your 1,000 shares, you take your 100 or 200 dollars and you're done. Do that two or three times a day, you're making 300, 400, 500 dollars a day. That's all we're doing. We've gone back to the ways that it used to work. And you know what? It turns out these things are still working. No catching knives, no over gambling on options, not going over our heads with any trades, and we sure as hell are not taking overnights against our will. Now, what, is that? what do I mean by that? Sometimes you're in a trade late in the day, and it's going against you, and you don't want to take that loss, and you say, oh, let's see what happens. Let's hold it overnight. Maybe it'll gap up, and I'll get lucky. Don't do it. Hardly ever works out. And I know you're the guy that's like, oh, I should have held it overnight. Look, it's gapping up. I didn't have to take that loss. Of course that's going to happen. But the majority of the time, you're going to lose money. Just take the loss. Taking losses feels so good. It's a cleansing process. It cleans you. Appreciate taking the loss. 
move on to the next name, move on to the next idea. Even though this market may seem boring, oh, what if I don't find another idea? <laughs> oh man, trust me, there's gonna be another HLF right around the corner. Who would have thought Research in Motion, the innocent break of $11.87 would turn out to be this monster? Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk HLF when it broke 30 would run to almost $45? And then got up to that 47 crucial area and what are we doing? We're shorting it now, right? It's rolled over. Beautiful short the last couple of days. So we've been trading this AGQ, doing pretty well with it. Obviously, we were in this very sign for the last couple of days, finding a trending stock, hanging on. So let's go back to the overnight situation. What we've been doing is we've been buying 100 lots, 200 shares, sometimes 300 shares of a deck. We bought deck as it broke 37 the other day, and we sold it at 39.72. 200 whopping shares, but we made about $500 on the trade. 200 shares made about $2.72 on the trade. You can't complain. Took little risk, of course, in theory, and I know people hate when I say that the stock could have opened up at zero. Maybe decks were causing skin cancer in Chinese babies somewhere, and the stock would have opened up at zero, but I only had 200 shares. If you're going to take overnights, you take them where you can absorb a catastrophe. Don't trade over your head. Very simple concept. But what we do every day, we wake up, we watch the market, we have a few names that we're looking for to do certain things, but majority we're just letting the market tell us what to do. And that is the real name of the game. Let the market tell you what to do. Because for every boring day, like I said, now we've got Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, Bank of America has been great. There's so much going on that you don't need the Dow going up 120 points or down 300 points. You don't need it. I like the sideways action because you know who's making money? The traders. And that's why we got into this business. We want to make money while the majority of the people who are sitting in mutual funds lose money. And listen guys, if you're out there and you don't want to be an active trader, if you want to find a good place to put your money, you could still come and talk to me. I'll give you some good ideas for where to put your money to work. How about that GMCR at 20 bucks? Anybody complaining? How about that FSLR at 20 bucks? Anybody upset about that investment? How about that GE? Still loving that G at 1250. Remember that? GE at 1250. Remember at six? Come on. I know now we're going way back. Go way back. And again, it's not all fun and games. Yesterday was a choppy, annoying kind of day. Trying to gauge what the VIX was going to do. And this is the conversation that I want to start today. Can the VIX go to zero? Can the VIX go to zero? Are we this complacent? The fear index is just compressing to nothing. Can the VIX go to zero? Just nobody cares. They're, the volatility has come so out of the market. Can the VIX go to zero? What is this VXX? I don't watch it. I just started watching it because of the fiscal cliff. It was going up and down 10 points. I was like, whoa, look at this thing. But then I just rolled over and died. Where's it going to go? The VXX. Is this another one of those stocks that's just going to go to zero, a broken product? I don't know. Again, I'm asking the question. I don't know. I don't know about the XIV or the VXX or the VIX. I don't know. And I'm going to end this conversation by saying, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just going to focus my attention on what the stocks that I have isolated in a trend are doing. And one of the best trades that we've done over the last six months is once you see a stock that has come out of a trend, more or less like a stock that, like an APKT, for an example, stock has gone from 15 to about 22, 23. You saw it rolling over there on my imaginary chart in the sky. As it rolls over, the next three days, we were looking for shorting opportunities in that stock. Very simple. Nothing to it. Stock goes negative. A stock that has now confirmed a double top. You wait for that stock to roll over. You go short. You take your little bit of money on it and you move on to the next name. This is not, it doesn't have to be too complicated. I've got nine books filled of stuff that if I read it, all it has ever done for me is confusion. I like reading about philosophies 
of trading. But once you start getting into these nuances of my favorite one is the engulfing bear flag wedge rising something or other. That's a mouthful, huh? Or the triangle, the cross of death, all that stuff. Everybody's got their thing. You know what? Bring your thing to us and come on the show. You know, we've opened the doors. We've been having some new guests on the show talk about what they like. What is the best part about what we're doing now is I tell people what I like. And if it fits the criteria that they like, they tell me why they like it. And then we're like, hey, I guess it does fit the engulfing bear wedge slicing apple formation that you're talking about. I like it because of this. Let's get into this trade because that's double the reason to get it. You like it for your reasons. I like it for my reasons. And then this guy's like, hey, well, you know, that also does look like the cross of death double ass crack bottom formation that I've been looking at. Oh, does it? Let's get involved. And that's what it's all about, kids. So I invite you to the room. You know the link. Go to hit the... Sorry. <laughs> Go to hitthebid.com. Come hang out with us. See what it's like. And right now, for $2 a day, for $2 a day, you could feed a starving child in Africa or come hang out with me and I'll show you how to make money. For $2 a day, for a simple cup of coffee, $2 a day. So for about $99 a month right now, you could come and hang out with us. Give it a shot. But you know what? Right now, go to hitthebid.com, hang out with us for two weeks. Two weeks! Either you're going to love it or you're going to hate it, and we'll part as friends. Two dollars a day, a simple cup of coffee could change your life. All right.